I want to start with, obviously, we know Michelle Wu won last night. What was expected with voter turnout versus what we saw? Voter turnout was pretty much on what the Secretary of the State, uh, Bill Galvin, had said. He had said about 135,000, I think, and we ended up right around there. Um, maybe we'll end up a little bit higher with, you know, some late mail-in votes and things like that. But he uh, he was pretty close on this, and he was pretty close in the preliminary. Well, and that's not a great turnout. That's um, I think lower than what we saw in 2013, which is the last time we had an open mayoral election. What do you think actually happened? I think you had said back in September that some of the people who were undecided on who they wanted to vote for was Michelle who able to get those votes from people in neighborhoods like Mission Hill or the South End. Yes, if you look at the map, um, Anissa Sabi George, uh, unless something changed overnight, I don't think she won a single precinct that she didn't win in September. She did not grow her vote outside of her strongholds, which were kind of West Roxbury, a little bit of Hyde Park on the western side of the, of the city, and then Dorchester and South Boston on the eastern side of the city. She went a little bit up in East Boston and maybe somewhere in Charlestown as well. Um, but pretty much everywhere where Michelle Wu had finished ahead of Anissa Sabi George in the prelim, Michelle Wu won that precinct, which means that the voters that voted for Kim Janey, that voted for uh, Andre Campbell, who voted for John Barrows, uh, the, the lion's share of those went to Wu. Um, and at the end of the day, she ended up winning pretty much the entire middle of the city, um, really kind of a dominant performance. So, um, it, it, and this is consistent with what we were seeing in the polling as well. I mean, the final margin is going to be close to 30 points, it looks like, uh, and, the, and our poll had it at 32, Suffolk University's poll for the Boston Globe had it at 32 points, and uh, Emerson College had it at 30 points. So if it ends up around there, it'll be a good night for the pollsters, at least in Boston. Absolutely. Rich, this was awesome. I can't thank you enough for jumping in with all that expertise on such short notice. Sure thing. Happy to do it.